Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we had the opportunity to visit Tropen House, Frutigen. This is a commercial project of a green paradise. It has an integrated fish farm and a tropical garden with exotic plants, fruits, and herbs. It is located in the town of Frutigen in the Bernese Oberland within the canton of Bern in Switzerland. It is easily accessible by train and by car. During the construction of the Lutchberg base tunnel, engineers had to solve the problem of cooling the water from underground springs. This warm water would damage the ecosystem of the river in the valley. A project has been developed that turned into a business opportunity and a touristic highlight for the village. The Tropenhaus Frutigen. The Tropenhaus has an interactive exhibition showcasing the project's use of renewable energy and sustainability. There are myriad pictures and explanatory boards, mostly in German although there are also some that are written in English. In this tour, I came to know many interesting facts about sturgeon farming and how they produce high quality caviar. In the sturgeon farm, top priority is given to the breeding of the fishes that is appropriate to their particular species. No antibiotics, medicines, or chemical pesticides are used. The fish weigh around 5 to 8 kilograms when harvested. The caviar makes up around 9% of its body weight. The largest sturgeon that has been processed in the Tropen House so far weighed 33 kilos and delivered 2.7 kilos of caviar. Another fish, a smaller one, brought only 27 kilograms on the scale but delivered a record volume of 4.4 kilograms of caviar. I am just entering here at the greenhouse. The Tropenhaus Frutigen not only produces sturgeon meat, caviar, and other fish fillet, but also harvests exotic fruits and spices in its greenhouses. The fruits here are very tasty because they hang on the tree until they are fully ripe. They are processed in their in-house restaurants and offered in their tropical house shop. Did you know that the most expensive spice in the world is not vanilla or saffron, but this little yellow chili, which has an excellent aroma and good heat? The Tropen House also has some yellow and some red-footed turtas. The largest yellow-footed turtas, Carmen, was lucky. She was actually intended for the cooking pot. After she was rescued, a new home was found for her at the Tropen House Frutigen. Along with her partner Rodriguez, she is thriving here with this tropical climate. Next, you'll see some silky chickens. Silky chickens originated in China, which is why they feel at home here in the tropical climate. Around Easter time, a few fluffy chicks are hatching here. Incidentally, in the Middle Ages, the exotic looking silky chicken was thought to be a cross between a chicken and a rabbit. You also will spot the Chinese painted quails throughout the tropical garden. Unfortunately, I was not able to take a close-up video of them, so 
they're not included in this video. The greenhouse produces around 200 kilos of guavas per year. Here are some of the exhibit that you'll find at the greenhouse as well. The glass house has a temperature between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. So wear lightweight and comfortable clothing. Also the restaurants are directly inside of this warm area. <laughs> it almost made me forget that I am in Switzerland. There is an elevated lookout platform within the center of the tropical garden. The tropical atmosphere amidst all of these exotic plants is truly captivating. We enjoy the concept of this business and would recommend it to anyone who is bummed out by the weather and wants a bit of warmth and color. We rounded off the visit with a truly remarkable meal. That is, in the middle of a rainforest, in the middle of Switzerland, is truly a unique experience. We visited this site mid-July of 2020. The admission prices at the time of this recording are 18 Swiss francs per adult, 9 francs for children aged 6 to 16 years old, and children below 6 years of age are free of charge. If you guys enjoyed watching this video and want to hear from me again, Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button before you go. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.